Alrighty lads, we are on this guy. This is Mephisto. He is the most recent hero to come out up until tomorrow when we pick up fucking, pick up Mel fucking Mel who looks incredible. Uh, this though is Mephisto. He is a ranged assassin. The Lord of Hatred. Hates everything that you do. Hates all the places that you click. Hates all of your teammates and the enemies and the map and to be fair, I mean, that is a pretty decent extension of how I feel about the game anyway, so... I mean, maybe this is just meant to be. Our Q is Skull Missile. This is a, uh, a ranged... I don't want to call it a nuke because I don't feel like it does a whole lot of damage, but it does some damage in a straight line. It has a delay uh, when you conjure it, but when you hit the Q button, the Skull Missile sits there for a second and you can walk away and it's still going to go in the direction that you pointed so you don't have to sit there and wait for the, the ability to come out uh, when it does hit people it slows them down by a wee bit doing also a wee bit of damage lightning nova is your w this is your primary source of damage with mephisto this is aoe this is just i can't tell you enough how much this is the core of his kit and learning how to use this ability is going to make or break Mephisto players. Uh, there is a circle around Mephisto that is going to deal damage. Now, if the enemy is not standing on that ring, they can be standing inside or outside the ring and not be hurt. So you have to line that bitch up perfectly to do damage. Uh, the longer that the ring hits the person, uh, it actually ramps up damage up to uh, 30%, which is pretty cool, making it uh, really, really, really good in clumped team fights, but uh, more difficult to land on single, singular heroes. Shade of Mephisto is another cornerstone of this kit. This is uh, Mephisto's Blink. It is also a mandatory wormhole. You are going to pop back once you blink so keep that in mind it's an incredible tool to engage it is a shit tool to get out and if somebody's paying attention to where you blinked from especially the enemy team's tank you're fucked because they know where to get you uh, Lord of Hatred is your trait this is what makes Mephisto do so much damage his abilities uh, all three the Q, W and the E all do damage and when they hit people they decrease the cooldown of these abilities uh, by, you know, set amounts per ability. But this is what makes it so easy sometimes to keep your Lightning Nova going for a very long time, uh, assuming you're hitting both your Qs and your Ws, and occasionally your Es if you're using that to get some, you know, cooldown reduction going. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any more to explain about that. You You hit people with your abilities, you do more damage. Hey! Consume Souls is your first heroic. This, I think, is the more valuable ult in uncoordinated play. Uh, you're going to channel. It takes two and a half seconds. Keep that in mind. It's on a two-minute cooldown. It takes two and a half seconds to channel. When you do channel it, though, it is going to hit everyone on the enemy team. They're going to take a, a bit of damage, and they're going to be slowed by 25%. No matter where they are or what they're fucking doing whoever is around them, they are going to take damage unless they have protection or some sort of you know, dumb damage dodge mechanic. Uh, it is global. I, it, you kill people with this ultimate if that wasn't clear. Durance of Hate is your second ultimate. This is uh, a lot more crowd control and has probably a lot more use in coordinated play. Uh, but this is going to shoot out a pretty big ability and once it hits someone, it is going to root them. And then from that root, a big black puddle comes out of their feet and roots other people who are standing in that big circle. So definitely a more effective CC tool on a shorter cooldown. Um, I might give it a go, but I'm used to consume souls, so we'll see how this goes. Anyway, let's hop into this bitch and get angry at some people. I really hope this game works, because I, I kind of like, well, 
I like two parts of our team comp. I like Mephisto and uh, my F. Because the build that I'm thinking with Hanger at level 1, which reduces the cooldown of our basic abilities when we auto attack, um, is going to play into the ultimate. We're going to take Durance of Hate. And what I am hoping happens is that we also get a Warden's Cage. And then when Maiev goes for the pull, um, wow, I could have sworn I eat first. Maiev goes for the pull and hits everybody in the cage. That, oh god, that, oh my god, I'm in the puddle, so I couldn't even blink out. Wow. So like she did just there. I fucking. Like, this has been a problem all day. I better not be on fucking se Okay, good. Even with West. Oh, I reacted to that, but I guess I didn't, because the game server isn't... Anyway. We want to be closest to the highest clumpage of enemy hero. Nope. Uh, wow. There's beams everywhere. Blink back, blink back! Oh, okay. We're fine! We're leaving! Oh my god, with the enemy team and their obnoxious... Oh, lost my god. <gasps> Let's just push, guys! Just go! We've got the best pushers in the game with the lost Vikings. And I hate everything about it. Oh my god, you better heal him. Not miss him. Wow. Ooh, I almost stopped him. I almost stopped him from backing. Oh, uh, at this level, we're actually going to take Hateful Mending. I have gotten a bit of traction out of this, and it did get buffed um, recently. Got him. Probably didn't need to blink in for that. Hateful Mending, what it does, it actually heals you with your Q. Uh, I believe you heal 60%. That's not bad. 60% heal on your Q for the damage that you deal with your Skull Missile. And uh, in a lot of the tight corridors and the, the grouped up team fights, we are going to get a lot of traction out of that talent, if you like. That's for you. We tagged him. I, I don't know what we're doing. Gotcha. I mean, it's cool. I thought we could get more out of the trade, but... Whatever, that's fine. Nailed it. Okay. It is going to fall upon us to keep a better eye on Mayev. Mayev? Maeve! Um, so that when she does go in for these pulls, and eventually, hopefully, the Warden's Cage, um, we can react in time to throw our ult. Which will be here shortly. Did take a lot of damage there, but my Anna is pretty fucking good. Gonna take Ghastly Armor at 7. Um, mainly to increase our survivability when we blink in, and for 2 seconds after. No, you didn't hit me with two of those. Uh, okay, we made it. We made it! We lived! Let's go ahead and hit that fountain. Just in time. Gonna want my heals. Heal? My healing fifth. To creep up a little bit. Before we go back in. 
Ow. Not gonna hit me that time. Don't want to give any free stacks if I can avoid it. He is dead as fuck. I believe in you, Maev. Go for it. Damn it. Oh, that big clump. That big, big clump. I don't want to actually be there. Oh, please don't let him kill me. I can't stop him. It's really, 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 really sad. But the Vikings are grouped up for that shrine, so they didn't do as much. I mean, they got the altar, which is fine, but the altar doesn't give experience like they would have gotten if they were split up through that whole fight in the altar, uh, which probably would have gotten their team 10, gotten them a wipe, I think. And snowballed them harder into the lead, but I appreciate everything that the Vikings are doing to not win the game for their team. I'm coming, Genji, I believe in you. That's all I got, man. You got it. I believe in you. Yes. Yes. The hates of Durant. No. Yes. Oh my God, he's so dead. That was Magnificent. Magnificent. Like the majestic lion. Or. Oh god, just let me get hit by all the damage. <coughs> oh god. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's come down here with Zagara. Ah, uh, that's good. So, I'm a little bit torn on the next tier. Um, normally, I would take Shard of Hate with the... I uh, really like the objectives here. What? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, when the basic attacks splash... They they also do more cooldown reduction. So if it if they splash to you, um, enemy heroes, we're just gonna. Oh my god! More more circles! More circles! Everything's fine. Genji's here. Genji ran into a whole bunch of toads, but it's okay. He's gonna live. I need to leave. I don't need to leave anymore. I don't have any mana anymore. Almost got that reset. 100 mana from the nano boost is not enough, apparently. When you're um on uh, on Mephisto, that's no biggie though. Our team got it turned around here. Really, really good stuff. So this is this is my conundrum. Do I take Shard of Hate to further decrease the cooldowns of my basic abilities, or do I take Hysteria because it applies uh, cooldown reduction to our already fairly low cooldown ultimate? And I think it's hysteria still. Because there's just so many times I've been able to use that twice in a team fight because of the amount of uh, cooldown reduction that you can get from your abilities plus, uh, plus anger at level 1. Uh, 
So it's pretty cool. Let's go for this one. This is more important. I missed. See, it was on a 60 second cooldown, but just from chasing the Zebo around, it's already at 39 seconds. And with the amount of clumped up fucking shit that this enemy team has been doing. Almost, almost got it. So, look at that. Like, a 60 second cooldown on our ult turned to maybe 30 seconds instead? Like, fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna go with this one uh, to channel this. Even though I'm probably better at interrupting on the left side. Uh, yeah, it probably should have been our support to do this, but... No biggie. Vikings are in the boat! Not much else we can do there. Oh my. I guess maybe I should have been up front. They don't have play again, so their deaths are important. Got him. Um. Oh, will you wake him up? No, why you do that? Ah! I'm spamming buttons. But I have a cooldown. Boom! Got it. I'm dead now. Oh, that's a bummer. My heroes shall have this fate as well. <laughs> Could have been worse though. You traded us for Gul'dan. That's not gonna be enough. Are you using aim down sights? Okay. Uh, at this level, we are going to take. Lightning Reaction. Uh, lightning Reaction is a cool talent. What it does is when your Q intersects with your W circle, it blows up. Now, it can do this more than once. Get that pull, get it. Yeah, you gotta get at least one of them. Um, let's go through the puddle, or portal. <laughs> I, just, I was looking at Stukov and I thought puddle. <gasps> All right, here we are. I don't want to miss this, so, so let's just do this. Boom! And now you can see the lightning reaction. Let's come down here. Coming up, 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 coming up. Fuck, and they dodged it. Which sucks. But, shouldn't be too bad. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! What was that push? Get the fuck out of here. I le I'm leaving? I'm leaving. Yeah, what? What was your plan? Have an ult! I can't stay with you. Oh my god, you just took a fuck ton of damage. But we're ahead in shrines, altars, whatever. Doing pretty good. This game is going well for us. And uh, in case you didn't catch it in that fight. Where was my E? I hit the E first. That's so fucking lame. I did not get that nano boost at the right time. Why are you going in, man? There is one minion? Oh boy. Let's see if we can catch him. We can't. He was asleep for a really long time. It's just funny. Oh, that's great. I love it.
I love it. You just blink in, you're like, hey, you guys, you guys want some lightning? And then you're, you're right out. Just waiting for these cooldowns to come back, trying to get our ult ready. We only got 15 seconds to go anyway. Missed him. I do need that globe. I'm not going to have a whole lot of mana going into this, which is shitty. Anna's got nano boost up, though. Hopefully we can use it on me in a good position this time. Dump our ult right there. Got him. Auto attack him to death. Help Zagara. I, you should have just killed him, man. One more auto attack would have done it. Um, yes. Yes, your W does damage. So does your Q. But your E does wicked damage as well. That is so cool. I want to stay here, but that Gul'dan is locked, cocked, and ready to punch my socks. Um, let's just get the fuck out of here. <sighs> Hit this level 20 talent. It is not this. Uh, I know you're looking at this thinking, oh yeah, that's got to be it. Three seconds of silence. This is only after the root. Uh, the root is 2.5 seconds, so a three second duration on the silence seems good, but they can do whatever the fuck they want while they're rooted, so if all their cooldowns are blown before they matter anyway, like, what the f who cares? I'm here, you fuckers! Don't you dare try to take this tower. We're going to take Mimic instead, which is going to make our... Our uh, shade also proc our lightning nova. More cooldown reduction. I did not do a good job paying uh, attention to the Maev. But that's okay. Our team is really, really good at everything that they're doing, which is incredible. So all of our random ass AOE damage really, really makes shit happen. And the fact that this is a boat Vikings is pretty hilarious. Boom! Venn diagram of death! And we win! Game over. GG team. Hey. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Zagara, you deserve it. I bet you capped the most experience for our team. I did I did some decent damage. And I fucking love you for enabling me to not have to soak every motherfucking lane. I just, I love it. I love teammates that understand the game on a fundamental level. Let's take a look at the stats. 16k. Vikings also had 16k, but this is impressive because this is a single player. Fuck yeah, Zagara. You deserve it. Level 1 was Anger to get the cooldown reduction on our basic attacks on top of the rest of our basic abilities. 4 was Hateful Mending because there was a lot of bunched up chokes that really, really did some decent healing for this uh, ability. Normally I would have taken Static Barrier, which probably also would have been stupid good considering how much damage we're putting out with our W. Uh, ghastly armor at 7 to be more survivable when we blink in. Durance of Hate at level 10 because this synergizes so well with Anger and Hysteria because of the 60 second cooldown on this ability. Uh, and if you're doing enough 
in the team fight of AoE and auto attacking, this is more or less like a 20, maybe 30 second cooldown. So, yeah. This is a... Uh, I mean, I, I could have taken Consume Soul and probably killed a couple Vikings more often than not. Um, but I, there was a lot of times where this really, really pulled it through in the chokes. I missed it a fuck ton, but it was also up enough that I could just do it whenever the fuck I felt like it. Uh, Hysteria at 13 to apply our trait to our ults. And then Lightning Reaction at 16 for when our Q goes off and hits a bunch of people. If it hits our W, it's going to do some damage. And then 20 was Mimic for that extra Lightning Nova just explosion of doom. Uh, yeah, so that is Mufisto. I hope that you enjoyed all of his abilities. Thanks for YouTube and hanging out. Do them commenty things if you have any questions or you want to talk about what the fuck makes this character cool. And then, as always, uh, subscribe if you feel like it. Don't if you don't. It's your life. Live it the way you want to. I hope that you have a hate-filled day. Not really. Go out and love people, you fuckers. <laughs>